right, in this video, we're going to look at how to get data from your custom app, whether it be KOWP, KWGT, or KLOCK. We can send that data from the custom app over to Tasker, and then once it's inside of Tasker, you can do whatever you want to do with it. If I tap on this right here, you will see the artist name and the song title, and that's actually data that's in KOWP. I'm sending it over to Tasker, and then I'm just letting Tasker flash it for demonstration purposes. Let's dive into it and see how this is set up in custom first. And before diving any further into it, if you check out the link in the pinned comment below, this is a written article that's pretty much going through the same stuff that I'm going to be talking to you about. It does use an app called Auto Apps or Auto Tools. The developer of Tasker now actually made these add-ons for Tasker, these plugins, and Auto Tools is one of those. So I have a custom to Tasker component. You can get this from my free components folder. And inside of that component, I have two more components, a weather component at the top, and then a music progress component that I have right here. I wanna go inside that music component and I'm gonna to go to the rectangle that has the artist and the title, this right here. So you noticed earlier when I touched that, we had something flash. That flash was coming from Tasker. How was I getting that to work? Well, if I touch this rectangle, we're going to open a link. And under open link, this is what you want to put at the beginning of all of these auto tools commands. Auto tools command, colon, and two slashes. Then after that, you can put whatever you want. This right here is going to be a trigger name we're going to use in Tasker. And then your pieces of data, whatever you want to send over, I got two variables that I'm sending over, and these are actually pieces of information from KOWP. The music info for artists and the music info for the song title. You will notice all of these pieces that I have, I'm separating them with the equals colon equals. This is how you break up your pieces to send over to Tasker using Auto Tools. Now we could easily put this piece of information and this piece of information inside of one thing and we would not have to separate them, but by us separating them, we have two distinct variables that we can mess around with in Tasker. So now let's build one of these from scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to the component here and I'm gonna to go to this weather SVG that we have here at the top. And if I touch this weather SVG, I want to open a link and for that URL, let's start it off with auto tools command colon slash slash. Now, what type of trigger name do you want? Give it any trigger name you want. I'm going to call it weather since I'm going to be getting some weather information. And let's get three different pieces of information, three different variables here. We separate them with the equals colon equals. And for this one, I'm going to say current temp is, and I'm going to go to my weather info and I'm going to get the current temp. Now, for my next variable that I'm going to create in Tasker, I'm going to get a high and a low. So I want my high, and I'm going to go to my weather forecast, and let me put a space up here. High is, I'm going to get today's high, and the low is that one right there. So right now we have two separate pieces that we're going to access inside of Tasker. We got the current temp, then we have the high and the low accessible inside of one variable that we're going to create in Tasker. But I'm going to do one more. I'm gonna do the weather condition. Now you don't have to put this extra text in here, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to show you the flexibility here. And if I go to weather info and come to condition. So we're gonna send over current temp is 72. That's gonna be one of the first variables we get. Then we have a high and a low, and then we have a condition. So I'm gonna check that, I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna go back to the home screen. Now, if I tap on this, nothing's happening. I wanted to come back at the end of this video and show you some changes that you have to make in auto tools. But for now, let's just go ahead and jump into Tasker and let's create this profile and this task. So I'll export all of this and add this stuff to the Tasker files as well. But inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a task and I'm gonna call it weather. And for right now, inside of this task, I'm going to flash and I'm just gonna say, is it working? So let's back out of here. And now let's go to profiles and let's create a profile. We want to use that trigger word. So when I add a profile, we're gonna to go to event and let's filter auto apps command right there. Let's go to the configuration. And for now, for simplistic purposes, let's go to the command filter. The command filter, that's that trigger word. I used weather. You can use whatever you want, but make sure it matches what you set up in your custom app. Press an okay on that. 
and variable names. This is optional, but I prefer to do this. Remember how I had three pieces of information for the weather? I had a current temp, so I'm gonna call one of my variables current. Then I had a high low. You can call these variables whatever you want. And then we had a condition. So these are the three variables separated by commas. If I click OK, back out of here, you can see that we're going to get those. Now, these are in the order in which I created them inside of custom. Remember, we had current, then we had high low, then we had condition. Now, they're not listed in the correct order here because this is alphabetical, but if you go back and rewind, I did type in the current first with a comma, followed by high low with a comma, then a condition because that's the order that I had them in in my custom app. So backing out of here, and let's trigger what task? That weather task that we just created. That's that task right here. And for now, it's just going to flash, is it working? And let's just test and see if it's working. So applying that, backing out, if we tap on this, we do get a flash saying, is it working? Now let's come back into Tasker and let's actually flash those variables, which is actually data getting sent over from KOWP. So inside of this flash here, I'm going to flash current. These are the three variables we created in our profile. Then we had a high low, and then we had a condition. So these are the three variables that we created in our profile. So let's check this, let's back out, and now let's see what we have. Now what you may have noticed there, it does flash that correctly. If you saw that, it was like a flash from another app, and I think that's flashing the Auto Tools app. It only does that every once in a while, and I think it really only does it once you go in and you start making changes in Tasker. But once you have your variables and your data getting sent over however you want, you shouldn't be seeing that big screen flash anymore. So if I tap on this one more time, notice we are getting that exact information we had from KOWP. And just in case you forgot that, that's the information that's getting sent over. The current, the high-low, and then the condition. Now I did mention something that we may have to change inside of Auto Tools. So I'm going to go to Auto Tools and Logs and Alerts. If you cut this Web Commands Toast off, you may have noticed up until this point, if you've been following along with the tutorial, that you kept on getting some type of toast at the bottom. If you uncheck that, you will not get that toast every single time. That's completely optional. And yeah, there you have it. The music artist and the song, we can send those over from KOWP. And then I showed you from scratch how to send over weather information. But obviously now, hopefully you do see this opens up a whole brand new uh, way of working with KOWP and Tasker. And again, check out that link to the article online below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.